Let's talk hydration for a moment, shall we? I get messages all the time from people who claim they are eating well and exercising daily, but they're still having issues losing weight. Did you know that not drinking enough water and properly hydrating your body could be a contributing factor? Staying hydrated ensures that your organs work efficiently, which increases your metabolism and allows you to burn more fat. I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys. One of my many flaws is that I don't think I drink enough water. Are you one of those people too? Luckily, this company Hydro Jug contacted me and I'm so excited to take on a new lifestyle challenge. This BPA-free water bottle holds a half gallon of water and the wide mouth opening makes it easy for you to clean and add supplements and ice. Now, someone of my weight and activity level should be drinking a little bit more than one of these guys a day, which is certainly a lot easier to keep track of than drinking like 15 glasses of water. I would love for you to take on this new lifestyle challenge with me and we can compare notes on how much better we feel after consuming more water. By the way, this adorable leopard sleeve, which will be released on July 11th, helps keep your water cold all day and it has a pocket for your cell phone and keys. Gotta love it, they really thought of it all. And of course, there are other sleeve patterns for you to choose from if you're not into the animal prints. If you're looking for a new water bottle, I highly recommend this one. Let's go green, let's save the planet by eliminating all of the plastic bottles that just get used once and thrown out. You'll find all the links and coupon code in the description box down below as usual. Okay, my beautiful friends, grab your sneakers. Let's get to our intense fat burning full body hit and sweat out all those toxins. Here we go. Okay guys, this is how this workout's gonna go down. I have two circuits for you. We'll do circuit number one twice, and then we'll do circuit number two twice. Each circuit has five exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, like we usually do for a complete 20 minute amazing, amazing workout. I'm so excited for this one, you guys. And let me also remind you that yes, we want to move at a pretty brisk, quick pace, but do not sacrifice your form for the speed of the movement. It's very important that we are moving consciously and working very correctly. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, everyone, we're going to start in a hovering tabletop position. Let's do opposite hand to thigh four times, and then we are going to twist and thread the leg through also four times. And then we go again. Make sure your back is parallel to the floor. Try to rock as little as possible during those thigh taps. And then we thread the leg through, good. Keep going, you guys. We have 16 seconds left. Tummy in tight, of course. Nice job. All right, guys, we're going to get down on our mats and do a little double leg drop for our next exercise. So let's sit on our hands, or you could just place your hands by your sides. And we drop the legs down, open, close, and lift the legs back up. So the legs are slightly externally rotated, so we're targeting those inner thighs, and we're not gripping in those quads. Good, 30 seconds left. My head, neck, and shoulders are curled off the mat just to amp it up, but you could keep your head down if you wanted to. Most important part is that we are not arching the back, so make sure you're always imprinting your spine. 15 seconds, keep going. Woo, nice work everyone. All right, exercise number three, we're going to get on the feet and let's do some squats. So nice wide stance, legs and feet are parallel. 
and we squat and pulse down. One, two, three, jump up, tap the feet together. One, two, three, and then we twist. And again, pulse down three times, jump up, pulse down three times, twist to the other side as you bring the knee into the chest. Good job, you guys. 26 seconds left. Make sure the knees are in line with the feet. Good. Keep the chest and the chin up during those squats. 12 seconds. Good, I'm just gonna sneak in that last little twist. All right, take some nice deep breaths and let's get into a high plank pose next. Hands are under the shoulders, booty down, core engaged. We're gonna bring the right knee to the right elbow, left knee to left elbow, twist, reach up with the right arm, twist, reach up with the left arm, and again, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, reach up, and reach up. Great job, you guys. 30 seconds left. Keep your gaze at the mat during those knee crunches and then look up towards your hand as you twist and reach for the sky. Good, 18 seconds left. Booty stays down, belly button always pulling in and up to the spine. Good, 10 seconds, keep going, don't give up. So good, you guys. All right, we have a shoulder bridge exercise next. So let's get down on the backs. Legs are hip width apart, feet are flat on the floor. Arms are by your sides. And we're gonna pulse the hips up four times and you can reach those arms up to the sky if you wanna amp it up. And then we kick the right leg and kick the left leg. So if you feel yourself kind of rocking and rolling and you're struggling, keep your arms on the floor. But if you're feeling strong, then you can reach your fingertips to the sky. We wanna keep the hips nice and level. That's the most important part here. Really squeezing those buns at the top of each pulse. And then enjoy your two leg kicks where you get a beautiful stretch in the back of the leg. Good, 10 seconds, keep going. Great job, you guys. All right, we are halfway done with circuit number one. So let's go back to the beginning and repeat this circuit a second time. Here we go into that hovering tabletop, picking the knees off the mat and hand to opposite thigh four times. Try to shift as little as possible. And then we thread the leg through four times. Beautiful job, you guys. Keep it going, like I said. Try to be consistent with your pace, but don't sacrifice your form for speed. Good, 22 seconds left. You got it, keep going. Ten seconds. Yes, all right, moving along. Exercise number two, let's get down on our mats and you can either sit on your hands or have your hands by your side. Double leg drop. We lower the legs down and open, close, lift up, good. Again, most important part is that we don't arch the back. So I always tell my students, Imagine like there's a blueberry under your back and you're gonna keep crushing that blueberry with your back. Good guys, 28 seconds left. Make sure there's space between your shoulders and ears, whether your head is curled off the mat or down on the mat. Good, no tension in the neck. Keep going, 15 seconds left. Stay strong, you got this, keep going. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's get up and do our squats. Good, 
and we pulse down one, two, three, jump up, one, two, three, twist, and one, two, three, jump up and down, two, three, twist the opposite way. Good job, you guys. Keep it going, try to stay super low in those squat pulses, 22 seconds. Good, I know those buns and thighs are on fire. Mine are too, but keep going. Don't give up. Push yourself, you can do it. Nice job. All right, let's get into our high plank. And right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow, twist, reach up with the right, twist, reach up with the left. Good job, you guys. Again, keep up your pace if you can. If you're getting tired, which is understandable, then you can slow it down a little bit, yeah? Form is so important, but really push yourself. You might surprise yourself. 18 seconds, keep going you guys. Belly button in and up to protect that lower back. 10 seconds. Woohoo, all right, let's get ready for our shoulder bridge. And squeeze those buns, pulse up four times, keeping the hips nice and level. And then we kick the right and woo, kick the left. Good job, you guys. Again, you can reach your fingertips to the sky to challenge your balance, or you could just keep your arms on the floor for support. Good, hips stay level, 26 seconds left. Don't drop the booty down to the floor when you're doing those leg kicks. Good, keep the hips up nice and high, really pressing into the floor with your supporting foot. 10 seconds, don't stop, keep going. Yes, all right guys, circuit number one complete. Let's start up with circuit number two. We're gonna get on the feet and start with some jump twists. So we're just jumping up and twisting side to side. Good, keep it going. It's like a little dance. Good, shoulders down, nice long neck. Good, keep twisting, keep moving, keep breathing, keep smiling. We're having so much fun. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Woohoo! All right, guys, let's get down on our mat in our reverse tabletop pose. We're gonna do four tricep pulses, and then we have opposite hand to foot. Dip down, pulse one, two, three, four and opposite hand to foot, opposite hand to foot, also four times. Yes, that is a fabulous one to really challenge your strength and balance. Good job, you guys, 28 seconds left. Try to keep those hips up high. Good, elbows shoot straight back to your tricep dips. Tummy muscles engaged. Try to shift as little as possible. 12 seconds, keep going. Breathe, shoulders away from the ears. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're gonna flip it on over and get into a high plank pose. We're gonna jump in and do a pike jump and then we jump the feet back out. 
So we jump in, jump up into a pike, and jump back out. Jump in, jump up pike, and back out. Woo, this one's a killer, but we love it, and we're gonna keep it going strong. 30 seconds left. So if you guys want to, you can always take out the jump on the way in. So just walk your feet in, in. You can take out the jump in the pike and just sort of stretch up into an upside down V and then walk your feet back out if you want to take out the jumps. All right, almost there. 10 seconds, keep going, don't give up. You can do it. Okay guys, let's move along. Exercise number four. Let's work those outer thighs a little bit. So get on the feet for some standing side leg lifts to the side. So we lift up one, two, three, and then jump to switch to the other side. So both legs are in the parallel position. Your standing knee is bent. Make sure the knee is in line with the foot. Good, and we are on a slight slant with that upper body. Arms are reaching up, but keep those shoulders down. 20 seconds left. Make sure you're engaging in that core so you can stay balanced. Another great exercise to really challenge your balance and strength. Eight seconds, keep going, don't stop. Nice job, all right. Those beads of sweat are really kicking in now, woo! <laughs> let's get down on our mats, guys, and let's do some abs. We're gonna do four Russian twists and four genie abs. So we twist it out four times and cross the arms, tap the knees to the arms four times. And again, squeeze your fists together, exhaling on your four twists, and then we cross the arms like a genie, tapping the knees to the arms. Good guys, keep going, four and four. 25 seconds left. Fifteen seconds, keep going. Don't give up, I know you can do this. Stay strong. Yes, so good, you guys. Alrighty, we are going to repeat circuit number two a second time, and then you guys are done. We're more than halfway there. You got this, here we go. Up on the feet, and let's go for those jump twists. Twist it out, my friends. Good, really focus on your breathing here. Shoulders down. Keep smiling, think happy thoughts. You guys are doing something so amazing for your body and for your mind and for your soul. 20 seconds, keep going, keep up your pace. Good, don't stop, just focus on feeling so accomplished when you guys are done with this workout. You're almost there. Yes, all right, let's get into our reverse tabletop. Here come our four tricep dip pulses and then opposite hand to foot. Woo, all right, here we go. And dip down and pulse one, two, three, four times. And try to shift as little as possible. Good, and keep it going. Keep squeezing those buns to keep those hips up high. 28 seconds, keep going. Good, 20 seconds. Don't you dare give up now, you're almost done. Ten seconds, don't stop. Awesome job, you guys. Alrighty, let's get into our high plank. We jump in, we jump pike up, and then we jump back out. Remember, you can turn the jumps into just steps. 
So I'm gonna jump in, jump up, and then I'm gonna step out, step, step. Jump in, jump up, and then again, if you want, just step back out to your plank. Good job, you guys. Keep up your pace. I know this one is a killer, but it is so amazing, and you're gonna do it because I believe in you, and you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Don't give up. You got it. Breathe. Good. Fight through that burn. Awesome job, you guys. All right. We have two more left. Don't give up on me now. You can do this. You can do this. Standing side leg lifts. Here we go. And both legs parallel, supporting knee is bent. And then we jump to switch to the other side. Good, belly button always pulling in and up. That's going to help you balance so much. So don't forget to engage in that core. 30 seconds. Sixteen seconds. Good. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths. Beautiful job, my friends. All right, let's finish strong. Here's our very last exercise. Get down on your mats for Russian twists and for genie ab pulses. Here we go. Twist it out, exhale on your twists, and we bring the knees to the arms four times. Beautiful. Twist it out, and pulse it in. 30 seconds, keep going. Twenty seconds. seconds don't stop Woohoo! all right my friends you are complete with this 20 minute fat burning full body hit workout I am so proud of you don't you feel so accomplished all right let's do a nice little stretch open the legs and we're just going to reach forward and hold. Just take some nice deep breaths here. No tension in the upper body. Good. Let's walk the hands over to the right foot. And then we'll twist and reach up with that left arm, keeping the body close to the leg. Stay low, walk your way to the left leg. And twist, reach up with that right arm, staying low. And bring the arm back down. Good job, you guys. Walk your hands back to center and take a nice inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And let's roll up through the spine and just drop the head back. I am so proud of you guys. Great, great job today. And I don't know about you, but I am drenched over here and it feels oh so good. Don't forget to hydrate your body. And if you need more motivation, here are some additional fabulous reasons why you should be drinking more water. Number one, energy. Proper hydration helps energize you and helps maintain clear thinking and better concentration. Number two, healthy skin. Consuming enough water hydrates your skin, diminishes the appearance of wrinkles, and flushes out the toxins. And last but not least, number three, water allows nutrients and oxygen to travel to the organs and cells. It also regulates your body temperature, removes wastes, and protects your joints and organs. 
Remember, you'll find all Hydro Jug links and a coupon code in the description box down below. And all Danzy fitness related info is down there as well. All right, my beautiful friends, I am sending out so much love and light and hugs. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you completed it. And please take care of you. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.